Hello, Electromaker community. Brace yourselves because today we'll be diving into the wild world of mini computers with the help of, thank you, Richard, the, um, oh, wow. What is that? Ooh. Sorry, uh, the uh, Mini M5 card pewter kiss. Sorry, uh, something which I personally guarantee will be stolen from this studio because, well, just look at it. It's. Sorry. The M5 Stack Card Pewter Kit with the M5 Stamp S3 is a double whammy of a kit as it provides both a base computer with keys and display and a teeny tiny M5 Stamp S3 microcontroller board. With all the keys you could possibly need, extra peripheral ports and modability in mind, this perfectly tiny machine is the machine for you. If you are not yet convinced of the awesomeness of this machine, then honestly, you are probably hopeless. But as I am an optimistic man, I will do my best to convince you otherwise. So we have a teeny tiny computer with a full QWERTY keyboard and lots of options to expand, which means that this thing is great for hacking and prototyping. But at the same time, how many microcontroller-based development boards do you know that can be used like a mini computer? Furthermore, the molded case that this thing comes in feels really nice, it's good and sturdy, and its design just really resonates with me. Mind you though, I do love retro tech. Of course, if you want to really see what makes this thing awesome, we're going to need to dive into its features. The single most important feature of the car pewter is its brain, which is an ESP32 S3. Now, you may have seen these S3 modules cropping up here and there recently, and there's a very good reason for that. Not only does the S3 improve on the older ESP32s in every single way, it specifically supports something called external pseudo RAM, with S3 modules often coming with eight megabytes. That means you can massively expand your project's memory requirements, thereby making all kinds of fantastic stuff. Remember, RAM is often a major factor in microcontroller projects looking to incorporate anything from operating systems, graphics, and AI. Moving on to the keyboard and the full 56 key QWERTY interface along with the many function buttons ensures you can interface with most text-based systems, including coding, browsing, and if you're really weird, writing. Imagine someone writing an entire essay on this thing. The integrated display is a 1.14 inch TFT, which gives you enough resolution to show a few icons, lines of text, or small images. And the inbuilt cavity speaker and the digital microphone allows for both sound and recording. And as we heard earlier on, this thing is, well, pretty loud. An additional infrared tube allows for use with IR controlled systems, while the integrated ESP32 provides both Wi Fi and Bluetooth. The use of an extra HY 2.0 port allows for connecting extra I2C devices, while a micro SD slot massively expands the storage capacity of the card pewter. Finally, this machine has an integrated 120 milliamp hour battery and a 1400 milliamp battery for allowing for portable use, but why there are two batteries, I honestly have no idea. Besides looking absolutely awesome, the car pewter has plenty of uses. The first project that I can think of is some kind of low key messaging platform that lets you send messages to other peers entirely encrypted and safe. Basically, it would help you transmit sensitive information without relying on modern services, something that you might find in a near dystopian future. So you get two of these, give one to your friend, and then have these directly communicate across the internet. The second project idea that you could do is a robotics controller. Using the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capabilities of the ESP32, you could connect this remotely to motorized systems and use the keyboard to send commands. In fact, the keyboard gives you the power of control in many different things in extremely arbitrary ways, whether it's through written commands or by binding each of these keys to a specific action. The third project idea that could be explored would be as a remote hacking device for troubleshooting electronics. 
Many devices on the market these days utilize system or modules that almost always have some kind of I2C or UART interface. By carrying this little device in your backpack, you could potentially use it to gain entry into these devices just to see what's going on. However, just remember that you should only hack devices that you are allowed to use. Not like uh, when I got caught in high school and was banned for an entire year. That was a very hard year for me, doing computer assignments without having access to a computer. So all in all, we can see that the M5 Stack Carputer Kit with M5 Stamp S3 is an extremely cool kit that has so much potential, whether it's controlling other devices, prototyping with stamp modules, or interfacing with custom circuits. Personally, when you consider the price of this thing, there's almost no reason to not get one of these. In fact, when I go home tonight, I'm gonna go and get one because honestly, I just love the tiny nature of this and its retro look. Anyway, if you like what we do here at Electromaker and want to show your support, then for those who are watching this while scrolling on the toilet, lick the like button, nose butt the subscribe button, and head over to the Electromaker store where you can get this and all the other things you could possibly ever need for your next project. This is Robin Mitchell, signing off. Ooh.